everyone, welcome to the final cut. Yes, that's right, today we're going to 2004 and looking at the film Galaxy Hunter. Now, Galaxy Hunter tells us the story of this agent uh, named Ginger, who's played by Shelley Michelle, who also wrote uh, this film. And uh, she has to fly to a planet to save uh, Agent 3v3, which is played by Stacy Keach. Yes, I know, Mike Hammer himself has a small role in this film. Well, along the way, she has finds out that uh, he was captured by this evil villain named Zidian, and she has to band together with a group of female uh, bounty hunters, and they all get together and go after Zidian to try to rescue the agent. Uh, this is... It's hard to say. I think they were trying to do a send-up to the oil exploitation sci-fi films of the 70s and 80s, which there were plenty of. Uh, Low-budget films like this try not to do sci-fi because production design and sets and stuff are expensive to make science fiction. But they use a lot of borrowed uh, sets from other places as well as uh, just... You know, going old Mad Max style and making things out of common appliances seem a little bit sci-fi. So props there for working within their budget and trying to do the best they can. But man, this film is just cheesy exploitation up and down. I mean, the fight scenes are, are not painful to watch, but just going... Really, I've seen Backyard Brawl's uh, wrestling tapes that do better than these guys, but, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. You get that out of this type of film. You're not exactly watching it for the depth of character or the uh, supreme fight scenes in here. You're looking for some cheesy fun, and you get that. And the most fun I had was with the character Zidian, played by Alain uh, Benatar. Loved his character. Uh, it was it was so over the top and outrageous. He couldn't help but enjoy this guy's uh, this Zidian character. You know, even with all the bad acting and cheesy stuff all around him, he really steals each scene. And and I, I did like his character. He was a saving grace for a lot of this film. Most of the actresses in here weren't in there for their acting ability, as you can guess. With it being an exploitation film, it was uh, a high boff count. A boff count of 11. Yes, that's right, 11 topless or four frontal scenes in here. Uh, yeah, you know, the scene, uh, scene, fight scenes were awkward. Makeup was pretty good, though. I did enjoy the, the special effect makeup they did on all the people, including the android girl. Uh, I thought that was really well done, and some of the graphics and things they did sci-fi-wise were handled well there, too. But then you get, like, a car chase scene where they're right next to each other. You're like, just shoot them! Just shoot Shoot, he's right there. Why are you, you know... I mean, that's standard Hollywood fare, but this one is, is a little bit more evident than that. Uh, predictability of the script, yeah, you could see where this was going all the way around. But, you know, it, it, well, you know what it did? It reminded me of the old Sybil Danning films from the 80s, those Sybil Danning action films. If any of you who grew up during that time and watched USA Up all night, uh, you, would, you would know Sybil Danning action films, and this definitely had the feel of it. Uh, all the way around, from the uh, hero who's a uh, older milf blonde to the cheesy acting to the, the over-the-top action scenes. Yes, uh, all of that definitely had a Sybil Danning action film scene to it. So if you're a fan of those, fan of the cheesy action films of the 80s, fans of the exploitation sci-fi films, then Galaxy Hunter will probably be right up your alley. Otherwise, if you're looking for a, you know, a, a interesting sci-fi film uh, that's a direct-to-video fare, then this one you'll probably want to skip. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stop.